20. What is the difference between a delta S and a delta S notch for a chemical change? Okay, so there's two different types of entropy changes. Keep in mind that an S value, we're always talking about entropy. And entropy is always talking about randomness, disorder, chaos of the molecules inside of a certain container. So there's delta S, and then there's... So we'll say delta S versus delta S notch. This little circle thing, degree sign, we call this like a notch. Okay, so that's how you say it. You say delta S notch. So what's the difference? Well, anytime that you see the notch sign, this is standard conditions. So this is like textbook conditions. Basically, if you're if you have a delta S value that has a notch, this should be very, very, very close to the appendix values at the back of the textbook. These are the appendix values. So that means that there are standard conditions, right? Maybe I'll put standard conditions. What are those standard conditions? Well, if you're finding out a delta S notch, you got to have a pressure of 1 atm. So standard uh, pressure here, 1 atm. And if they don't say a temperature, we go back to the textbook, the appendix temperature value of room temp, right? 298, and if we want to be even more specific, it's 298.15 Kelvin. So those are your standard conditions. So anytime that you're finding out a delta S value, that's a notch value, standard, you have to be under a pressure of 1 atm and a temperature of uh, 298.15. So this is your P value, this is your T value. So a delta S value without a notch, right? That means that you're not at standard. So not standard conditions. This basically means that these are not going to be the back of the textbook. So anything goes here. It, it just depends on the conditions that are in the problem. You could have different pressures. So you do not have to be at you know, one ATM, you could be at a different temperature value. It just depends on what the specific question is talking about. So this is much more flexible because you're not under the standard condition of one ATM and 298.15 Kelvin. And that's the difference. Textbook, you know, appendix values versus just random values. Whatever the conditions are, that's what it is. And that's the difference. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel. I am looking forward to helping you out in future questions. I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.